that's gonna work pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's low enough for the Nigerians, but like not at <laughs> poop shoot level. So that's good. All right, guys, we're getting ready to install our newest do-it-yourself project. Um, we talked about the PVC free choice mineral feeder. I saw this on Pinterest and I just couldn't keep from begging my husband, Mark, right here, <laughs> to uh, add that to one of our feeding regiments out here. So it's actually really easy to make. It was very cost effective. When I looked at these online, they were running, running anywhere from about $40 to $50 all together after I did the math. This only runs us about $25 a piece. Um, keep in mind that the poly feeders online did not have dividers, so I couldn't do two minerals at once. Mark was nice enough to let me do two. So when it came down to the shipping cost and the cost to buy it, it was going to run me about $120, and that's just for one pen. I have many pens here. I'd like to have some down in our buck enclosure over in the kidding lean to so you guys will get a tour of that later on we're going to be going over all of our does that are pregnant in that side and introducing all the animals to you guys so here's just a quick rundown um, the bigger the pipe the more capacity you're going to have but it does become a little unwieldy when you're trying to fasten it to the wall but with the amount of goats that we have here it just makes sense to get a little bit more bang for a buck. So we picked, oh, I think that's about a three foot section. It all came in separate pieces. So of course you had a three foot pipe here, like Ashley said. Then you have a Y, 45 degree angle Y here. And then you had a female insert with the screw cap and the end cap. The end cap that left loose so she can quickly add minerals as she needs to. The rest of the parts I glued together. Um, that way they don't come apart. Goats like to hit things, knock them apart. So. You know that if it's going to break, they'll find a way to break it. So I did glue these together with PVC glue. Um, it is a strong smelling glue, so I will say that I would let it sit a couple days before bringing out, uh, you know, putting it out in with the goats. Um, they all react funny enough. They don't need any chemicals. <laughs> Cause them to act a little, a little funnier than they usually do. And then of course the end screw cap, which allows her to clean that out as needed. Um, it's going to be low enough to put their head in, which means they can get other things in there mm -hmm. and quickly dirty up their minerals and she can clean out at any point. So we'll go ahead and attach both of them to the wall with some clamps and we'll go to that. One thing that he forgot to mention too is that with that adhesive in there, it is just a nice precaution to go ahead and with some warm soapy water, rinse it out. Um, he made a really good point. They're already loopy enough. We don't need to make them any more loopier than they already are. So here we go guys, we're gonna install. So what we're going to go ahead and add is some ring brackets to the wall with some screws. What that will allow is some of these screw clamps that you use for pipes to go ahead and brace it against the wall, keep them from knocking it off. So I'm going to attach the ring clamps, uh, these little rings, to the wall first and then we'll run it this around the pipe and then brace it against the wall. He's already trying to try it out. <laughs> that one funny thing I realized with goats is if you're in their spot in their space that you're basically a human playground so yeah. <laughs> they're going to be jumping on you when you're working on things. Everything I read when you work on something says they have a clear workspace and that's not possible with goats. And then rule number two is they'll try to eat whatever you're working with. So <laughs> it instantly becomes food in their eyes, no matter what it is, and they try to taste it, or even if you're using it. So. That's looking from 
minerals already. Mm -hmm. Oh God. for better side. There we go. All right. There you Walk guys down. have it. I got my free choice mineral feeder for under $25. Aren't you glad I didn't raid the bank on that one, babe? I did. Saved you money. All right, guys, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for tagging along with us, seeing our new DIY project. We'll have more of those as the spring comes along. But again, we appreciate you guys watching. So remember, go ahead, smash that like button, ring the notification bell, and subscribe. Thanks. Till next time. Bye, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's raining right now here in Indiana. We've been hit with a barrage of different weathers. A lot of different thunderstorms have come through, and... We got new gutter gutters on our barn in the summer, and it was a great investment. It's really helped a lot, but with all this water that's come down with the freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw that's been happening, it's not leaving a lot of places for that water to go. So I'm really hoping that tomorrow um, I don't have to make a video on my barn flooding. So keep your fingers crossed. Hope Mother Nature has some mercy on us. The last two weekends in a row, she has not. So we'll see. Gunther, for as much as you hate me to put this in your face, you always get in the shot. You're a drama llama. Yes, you are. You're a drama llama.